Next up on Jimbo Vision, Bastille Day. Bastille Day is a new Paris-based thriller which unites actors from two iconic TV shows, Richard Madden and Idris Elba, against a backdrop of bomb threats and conspiracy. Mm. Richard Madden, out of Game of Thrones, plays Michael Mason, an American pickpocket who we first encounter using a nude woman as a distraction while he works a crowd, not so much Rob Stark as Rob Stark naked. Idris Elba, Stringer Bell of course, plays Sean Breyer, a CIA agent who, and this is novel, doesn't play by the rules. He's a man who doesn't have to explain, a man who works with hunches so big they should be living in Notre Dame, a man who apparently really doesn't like doors. The pair get thrown together after Madden steals a bag with a bomb in it, oh, and becomes embroiled in a plot to fake a terror attack on Paris as cover for a bank heist. Agent Breyer will let him off though, if he can pick his pocket. <laughs> Maverick. Walk up to me and steal my wallet. Okay, okay. Uh, well, I'd, I'd walk up to the guy, avoid eye contact, step to the side, look him in the eye, and then I'd be gone. Still there. But the money's gone. See, I took the wallet the first time, then put it back the second, only without the money. It's all about the distraction. Hmm. Now, speaking of misdirection, let's talk a little bit about the helmsman here, James Watkins, who brought us the very effective formula horror, Woman in Black. While this is a serviceable enough thriller with a decent rooftop chase and some competent fight scenes, otherwise Bastille Day is far from revolutionary and a bit short on fireworks too. Even leaving aside the questionable taste of using bomb attacks in Paris as a plot device, we've seen this whole thieves posing as terrorist stick done better elsewhere, and attempts to give it here a modern social media spin are rather hampered by the wooden script. Even Hans Gruber would struggle with lines like, release the hashtags. As for the Parisian setting then, well fat chance of that lending this a gritty Gallic feel given that A, the director's English, and B, the heroes are all Americans, and not even real ones, but Brits doing accents. Can I get a gun? Perhaps most damaging for this kind of movie though is the fearsome lack of chemistry between the leads. Madden as the light-fingered lad from Las Vegas ironically fails to lift proceedings, while for all Idris's hard work, his elbow grease, he just comes across as a giant grump. It's the kind of role this that say The Rock would have excelled in, an outsized American enforcer who doesn't need a badge because he's got muscles. Sadly though, Dwayne was unavailable, he's off filming the Baywatch remake with Zac Efron and the Hoff, but no, I can't wait either. Anyway. Quick nod for two other things about this movie. One is Jose Garcia as a French police chief who is a dead ringer for another Stark, Tony. And the other is the closing credits, which see us serenaded out of the cinema with a smashing song by none other than Idris himself. Sadly, it's not the doors. All in all, to quote Napoleon's lament, Abel was I, ere I saw Elba. More galling than Gallic this, it's a strictly one for a rainy afternoon or a very, very long flight. Bastille Day gets a five and a half out of 10 on Jimbo Vision.